Now forward, we're on the money. Has your Aaron snowblower lost its reverse gear? Or maybe your first gear doesn't move at all. Or maybe you're moving in reverse when you're in first. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the speed selector on your Aaron snowblower so you can get it in the right gear. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. So let's talk about what's going on here. In my experience, the friction disc is wearing down a little bit, and because of this, it's not making the best contact in the right spot. These instructions should work for many Aaron's models. You can find more information on this in your Aaron's owner's manual. This here is my gear shift lever. I'm going to look underneath, and in most cases, you shouldn't have to touch any of these bolts or these ones. I'm going to follow this linkage all the way down to the bottom. According to the Aaron's manual, this is the adjustment pivot pin. This here is the speed selector lever and a hairpin on the back. Here's how to adjust it, and all you're gonna need is a set of pliers. I like to begin by taking your gear shifter and putting it all the way forward into the fastest speed. Usually it's gonna be gear six in this case. Coming back down here to the bottom, we're gonna take our pliers and we're gonna pull the pin. Just let this guy hang here, it'll be all right. From here, I'm gonna take the speed selector lever and push it all the way down to the ground. Push it as far as it'll go. So now it's really quite simple. Your job is to take this adjustment pivot pin right here and move it up or down on these threads so that way when you line it up with the speed selector lever, it goes directly into this hole without a problem. And you can see here that I have this lever all the way down and as I swing this guy forward, it doesn't even line up. It's not even close, Bruh. so I have to thread this down. One more thing that I like to do is put a piece of tape right where the current adjustment is. In case I have to go back, I know exactly where I was threaded at previously. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count my turns. That's one, two, three, four, line it up. Still not there yet. Five, six, not quite there yet. Seven and eight. And boom, look at that, slides right in perfectly without a problem. The speed selector lever's all the way down and it lines perfectly right up. From here, I'm gonna slide her in and stick in the hairpin. Simple as that. Now from here, you should be good to go. Let's turn the machine on and give it a test. But before we get this machine in gear, would you mind taking a super quick second to hit that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm? Thank you, I greatly appreciate it. Now that this machine is on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it in every gear to make sure they all work. Let's start in gear one. Looking good. Now gear two. Little faster. Now gear three. Even faster now. Gear four. That baby's moving. Gear five. She's flying now. And gear six. Woohoo! Look at that! So now let's go all the way back to reverse one. Yep. Right where we need it to be. Now all the way back to reverse two. Even better, just the right speed. Now forward, we're on the money. Looks good to me. Drives great now. So now that we got the unit back in the garage, here's a couple of pointers. You wanna make sure that you check every single gear. If your errands isn't quite dialed in to the right speed just yet, go back and adjust the pivot pin up or down one thread at a time until you get the speed just right for each gear. You wanna find that sweet spot. Really, the pivotal points here will be in forward one and reverse one. Just make sure that if you're in forward one, the machine is moving forward, and if you move it to reverse one, the machine is moving backward. This adjustment works on many Aaron's models. You might see some minor differences here and there, but all in all, these procedures are very much the same. Now, if you did a friction disc replacement like I did previously on this machine, I'll have that video linked down below in the description. You may have to do this procedure in order to get your gears back in order. Same exact plan, shift all the way up, speed selector lever all the way down, make your adjustments, and you're good to go. For one final step here, I'm gonna take some rust inhibitor spray, and what I'm gonna do is just spray it on the threads, Coat it nice and good, let it drip, just like that. That way those threads are protected and won't rust. You could also put some anti-seize on them, but I find that to be a bit messy. This works just fine. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.